What's poppin' in? Welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. And today we're in here in Walmart and we're gonna be searching for something to make a challenge with. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna use yet, but we're here in the fishing section. We're gonna look around, see what's going on. I got the boys with me today. We got First Date Fishing, we got Kicking Their Bass TV, A Dub Fishing, and we're about to all do some unique stuff today. So make sure you go check out all their channels. They're gonna be making some different videos. But let's go ahead and look into the baits, see what they got, see if we can find something to make an awesome challenge with today. No, what do you think I should use today? So what are you filming? That's my question. I don't know yet. That is what we're, Fletcher, we're, we're here to find out. Know this, Fletcher. Well, I just I told you we're gonna come here, figure it out, see what they got. All right. What's looking what's looking juicy? Pink flute bubblegum? Ooh, look at those. Dude, I think that would rock it right there. And also we're gonna have a lot of sun today. You know, there's a bunch of laydowns, hangovers, and you know, this skipping under the trees would be just fire too, right? I know I think they definitely get months. What do you think about that? That could definitely be a possibility. AW, you got any ideas? See, I was thinking more along the lines of maybe a Texas rig or maybe like a, a weighted, almost like a weighted fluke or a weighted swim bait. Something that gets a little bit farther down. That way, if you want to fish it on the bottom, you can. But if you need to fish it somewhere in the suspended water column, you can also do that as well. So maybe like some sort of swim bait. I don't know what kind of swim baits they have here. But they have these super flukes. I know they have those, but I think there's some stuff down here. Where was that sparkly thing we were looking at earlier? Yeah, that would be good. So you can just throw that right on a jig head. We got these like glitter baits right here. These are pretty interesting. Definitely like little swim baits. That could be a good option. What you think at first date? All right, so Fletcher, you know, big fish. I, I'm thinking, let's come down this way. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, the game plan is you gotta give them something they've never seen before. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're I, think, I don't know. I don't know if these bads have ever seen a pink squid. It's only twenty dollars. <laughs> Imagine snagging. That, that's that a deal. That's a deal. Yeah. I wonder how that looks in the water too, because it's got an interesting like lip on that end. So I wonder if it. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We might have to come back for that one, but I'm gonna ah. keep it. I'm gonna keep it <laughs> up in my head. We're gonna see you on that one. I think I found it, guys. I think I found what we're gonna be using today. Neon Walmart Lure Fishing Challenge. We got some bright yellow, we got some bright pink, we got some bright orange. We're just gonna Texas rig these things and get after them. I don't know, we can, I mean, I don't even know if we're gonna throw this green pumpkin or whatever. I'm not. Uh, bless, bless. I can't even tell what color that is. I'm, 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 I'm colorblind. <laughs> you know what's so funny is we were talking about last night. All three of them are colorblind. So I guess. I should be the lure picker, right? <laughs> I think this is it. This is gonna be the ticket, guys. Let's go get these out on the water. All right, guys, we made it out on the water. We have our neon worms. I think we're gonna start out, I think, with a yellow one. You think that's a good choice, Ada? I think that'll be pretty good. Or pink or orange? What are you thinking? Mm, it's kind of, it's kind of tough to say. I mean, this is clear water, but I kind of feel like a bright color might just like make them angry, or they gonna, just have to eat it. You I know? think it's gonna trigger them. Yeah, I think it will. I think it's gonna get them fired up. So I'm thinking, I think we're gonna start with the yellow. We're gonna go through each color today, though. But let's go ahead and break this sucker open. So here is our yellow worm, just a standard. Not super high quality <laughs> yellow <laughs> worm. I think, I don't know, there's probably like 50 worms in here. It was like $3. But uh, I think this thing is gonna do the trick. I just got a little Texas rig rigged up for this bait today. We're just gonna be Texas rigging this and I got a bullet weight stopper on there. So this thing will be nice and pegged. But let's go ahead and tie this on. Let's go catch us a big old bass. We're gonna, we're gonna stick a big in today. Here's what our final Texas rig looks like with our bright yellow worm. We got a bunch of like big old pipes and trees and stuff out here. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this a toss out here. A-Dub is doing something different. He is throwing a big beetle spin for his video. So y'all definitely wanna go check that out after this. But I think we're gonna get crushed pretty quickly, guys. The, the wind is howling. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the audio. I'm gonna try to stand with my back to it so y'all aren't getting a bunch of crust in your ears. But I, th I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get one quick. Got it? Oh, I think I'm snagged. Yeah. What? Oh, a tree pounder, baby. There's one. There is one. No monster. No monster. But we have officially knocked out the neon yellow worm right in front of these fools over here showing them how it's done there it is guys first fish of the day we have knocked out the yellow worm 
this bright yellow neon worm. And it's a good little healthy fish, no monster, but a good way to get started. Let's go ahead and get her back in the water. Later, darling. But it is time to pick our next worm. What you thinking, A-Dub? What you think? I'm gonna let you pick the next color. I'd, I'd go with the pink, man. The go pink? With, go with the pink. We're gonna work right down the chain right here, go all the way the to the orange. That's a super good bed fishing bait, too. Like, that's a really good color for bed fish. And we've been seeing those beds, so I feel like it might be super good. I think this is gonna be the trick, man. This bubblegum pink. I think a fish is gonna come out and smack this thing. We are all rigged up. Let's go ahead and get this bubblegum pink worm into action. I think we are gonna smoke one very, very soon. They seem to be up under these trees right now. So we got super high sun, almost no clouds, and all these fish are pushing up under these shade uh, lines up under these trees. We got a ton of wind rolling through. So hopefully they, they're pretty active and we're coming across the point right now. So it should be a good area where these fish are starting the stage for spawn. So, I mean, that's literally all our conditions. Our wind's coming across. We got our shade. We got our entry point to a spawning area. I think we're gonna smoke one. Game changer. There's one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was like a, that was a, good one, that was like a solid three and a half, four pounder. Good, oh, Gosh, I hate that. dang. That I barely felt him grab that. Just barely grabbed dang it. Me, he wasn't quite sure about the bubble gum. Just didn't get a quite good hold on it. Hello, Mr. Carp. Would you like to bite my bubblegum worm? Would you like a nibble? Well, there's one. There is a fish. Yeah, it's a good one. That is a good fish. I thought I'd pick up the lipless real quick. We're actually gonna move ponds and see if I could get one as we come in. Dang and we dude. got ourselves a nice chunk. We got a nice chunk. We're gonna get right back to the worms, but I just wanted to see if I could get one. We were having a tough time, but we figured that they would crush these lipless crankbaits. The conditions are just right for them. And sure enough, we got a nice one. There we go, Jimbo. Good fish. Solid, solid fish. Probably mid twos. I don't, you know, we'll weigh her, we'll weigh her just for the fun of it. New scale, y'all have been asking for it. So let's go ahead, put this girl on here. See what she reads. I think she's gonna be close to three. Yep, three pounds. Two, nine, eight. Oh, so close. So close to three. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Off she goes. So the wind was just ferocious in that last pond. So we decided to switch to a different smaller pond that has a lot more trees around it to be a little bit more protected from the wind. And I think we're good to go. I think we're gonna smack them in here. The bass definitely We'll probably eat these baits a little bit better in here. So I think we're gonna get this challenge wrapped up very shortly. There's one, there is a fish. There's a fish. I told you guys, new pond, better conditions over here for us. And we got one. We've been here for maybe five minutes and the bubblegum pink worm has delivered. Just a, uh, a great little little bass nothing nothing too crazy officially knocked out two of the worms and on to the last one thanks for biting little buddy that was a fun little fight later okay i've had enough of this pink worm let's just go ahead and get that off of here moving on to the orange the third and final neon worm right here guys we have the orange worm looks just like the other ones but just orange and we are gonna go ahead and get it started. Let's go ahead and give it a toss. Get a little jiggle, a little wiggle. This thing's gonna get yeah, hot. Nice. There's one. There is a fish. Oh, there's a nice chunky one. That is a good, healthy fish, y'all. On the orange worm. He is giving us a show. He is not ready to come in. He is all fired up. He's got all sorts of energy. Super, super healthy fish right here. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, he crushed that thing. Not hooked very well, that thing came right on out. There she is guys, our last and final neon worm fish. Crushed that Walmart orange neon worm. Great, great fish, super healthy, probably about two and a half pounder. Let's go ahead and get her back in, let her on go. Later, beautiful. 
And that is going to be it for the Walmart Neon Fishing Lure Challenge. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. And as always, Bass in his Passion, peace!